An American man is being held in Miami this morning after a suitcase blew up at the airport. The suspect's bag had hundreds of bullets inside, bullet parts instead. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiella is at Miami at the airport there, actually just in Miami with the latest. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Betty. Yeah, you know, the, the FBI and TSA are both saying there's no connection to terrorism here. But as you can imagine, in this current climate, exploding luggage certainly got their attention. Federal and local authorities say a baggage handler reported the small explosion in one of the checked bags as it was being unloaded onto the tarmac from American Airlines Flight 2585 arriving in Miami from Boston. Baggage was opened eventually and uh, some of the contents did catch, uh, it appears, on fire a little bit. Officials say the bag contained hundreds of bullet primers like this one, a key component of bullet cartridges that somehow ignited. One ignites, there's going to be sympathetic ignition of them, and they're all going to go off. Authorities arrested the owner of that checked bag. He's described as a 37-year-old naturalized citizen who was supposed to travel on to Jamaica. None of the 184 passengers aboard the plane was hurt, but they did have to wait for several hours while authorities searched every piece of luggage on the plane. Well, they really didn't give us a lot of information when uh, this all happened. We were lucky because we're heading down the key, so we were lucky we hung around here for a little while before we head out because we were never going to get our bags today. The owner of that luggage has now been charged with transporting hazardous materials, and he could face up to five years in prison if convicted. Betty? All right, CBS's Kelly Cobiella in Miami. Thank you.